Hello, welcome to another episode of Healthy Saturdays with Nana and Mona. Today we are going to be talking about exercises for the head and the neck muscles, which means anyone can do it. Si te gustaría revisar esta misma información, pero en español, puedes revisar nuestro playlist aquí mismo en Facebook llamado Sábados Saludables con Adrián. My name is Monica, I'm the founder of Nana and Mona, and we really hope you enjoy these videos. Due to the posture that we are placed in when we are doing eyelash extensions or any other job that requires for you to be in the same position for long periods of hours, doing repetitive movements or overworking your muscles, you can experience pain in your neck and your head area. Today we are going to show you some quick tips that you can do at home or at work for you to relieve this pain. By being in a position, in the example of an eyelash technician, like this all day, or if you are in an office job and you are sitting down, we are actually generating stiffness or spasms around the top half of the body. You might ask yourselves, what are muscular spasms? Well. This is a tension or a contraction that happens with the movements of the muscles when you submit them to a repetitive movement or tension. These spasms can appear anywhere in the body and are produced from frequent movements or overworked muscles. These are contractions or tensions that produce pain in your body. Before doing these exercises, it is important to understand what a muscle stretch is. A muscle stretch is when you elongate or stretch the muscle fiber different from its relaxation stage. They are soft movements maintained in a way that helps maintain the healthy form of the muscle. It is very important to understand that in order for these movements or exercises to be effective, you need to hold on to them for at least 30 seconds. And I'm not talking about 30 seconds where you're like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, you have to say one, two, three, four, until you get to 30. Let's move on to our first muscular exercise. For our first exercise, we want to tilt the head to the side. We will take our hand and place it over the ear height and gently pull the head towards the shoulder. And we count one, two, three, four, five, until we reach to 30. We do the same on the other side. If you want to modify it to create more pressure, we can place our hand behind our back while we complete this movement. Remember, the head will tilt towards the shoulder and not the other way around, otherwise it will not work. Exercise two. For this exercise, we will move our head as if we were looking either to the left side or the right side and the hand to where you are facing will go towards your jawline and gently push your head fully to the side. You can also modify this exercise by placing once more your hand behind your back and we will also count one, two, three, four, five. Now we want to make sure that we have our shoulders relaxed for this exercise and not have them upwards otherwise it won't work. Exercise three. This exercise is similar to the first one, but here we will not only tilt the head sideways, but also bring it slightly forward for 30 seconds. We will also do the same thing on both sides. Remember not to count too fast and to count all the way to 30. Exercise four. For the fourth exercise, we will cross our fingers like this and bring the hands to the back of our head and bring the head forward, downwards. Finally, you want to create a 180 motion from one side to the other, like so, from shoulder to shoulder. Do not move your head in a circular motion, for this will not work. Since we naturally do not move this way, it is not the correct way to do it. Now we will move to our isometric exercises. So what are they, you might ask? Well, these exercises, on the contrary to the other ones, are contractions that are happening without actually moving the muscle. I know it sounds a little confusing, but once you start seeing the exercises, you'll understand what I mean. These will help liberate tension and also will tonify the muscles. 
for our isometric exercises, we will be doing the following. For this first exercise, we will hold our hand towards our forehead. Now we're going to push our head towards our hand and our hand towards our head. I know it sounds a little confusing, but if you start doing it, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. We're gonna be doing this exercise for five seconds. So we will count one, two, three, four, five, and we will relax. Now we will move on to our lateral. We will do the same thing, place our hand over our lateral head and we will do the same thing. Press the head against the hand, the hand against the head. You'll feel the tension. We do this for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five, and we let go. We do the same thing for this side. We will place our hand on the side of our head and push against both of these and go one, two, three, four, five. Now for the last part of our exercise, we are going to crisscross our hands this way and we're going to place them behind our head and without moving our head forward this time, we're just going to press against the head and the head against the fingers. And we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five. And we release. Since these exercises are very easy, you can do active pauses, which means small breaks within your workday to complete these exercises. If you do these exercises either in the morning or at night before you go to bed, and before going to work or during work, you will notice a big change and your stress, tension, and muscle pains will lower. Now, if you feel that you are physically feeling either pain or soreness around the muscles, we do recommend for you to use the ice. If you haven't seen our previous video, you should do so because we spoke about the facial pain. If you found this video to be helpful, we would really appreciate if you would give us a thumbs up, like, or share or comment down below. We'd love to hear your thoughts. Remember, these videos are exclusive for Facebook. You can find them at the Nana and Mona Facebook page. We will be uploading these videos every Saturday at 11 a.m. Central Time. We love you guys so much. We really appreciate your support and we will see you in the next episode.